Welcome to Unspoken. Listen, I feel a lot better than I did last week. And I thought we were going to be able to take up from where I, we left off last week. But I tell you what, God gave me a message, so it's hot off the press this morning. It's straight from the Holy Spirit. So let's jump into the Word of God this morning. And the scripture reference is going to be found in Proverbs 27 and 17. The ti I'm titling this message because this is what the Lord said, the prophetic edge. Once again, the prophetic edge. And so the scripture again is found in Proverbs 27 and 17. And the word of the Lord says, as iron sharpens, so and un so and sh sharpens so uh, sharpens the countenance of his friend. So listen, as iron sharpens, so does the sharpening of the countenance of his friend. So what does that say? That says that it takes two people. Oh, Jesus. And I was talking to one of my friends and they were saying that when iron sharpens iron, you get an edge. Hallelujah. So listen, we're talking about the prophet edge, okay? And so um, it takes the grinding wheel to sharpen a blade. So one person, listen, this is what the, the Passion Translation said. It takes a grinding wheel to sharpen a blade. And so one person sharpens the character of another. Oh my God. So the only thing the only thing that can sharpen iron is another piece of iron. <laughs> Hallelujah. So remember now, the blacksmith takes a piece of iron to make a sword and he sharpens the weapon with another piece of iron hallelujah to give it an edge so we're going to look at this morning the prophetic edge so listen this is one way to gain a prophetic edge listen i uh Pro proverbs verse three uh, chapter three verse six in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path in all thy ways means a course of life. It means your lifestyle. So you have to live a lifestyle that's pleasing to God. That word, that phrase, acknowledge him, is the orabakashaya, is the word yada, oh Jesus, in Hebrew. And it is a verb. It means to lift up your hands, oh Jesus. So as we acknowledge him, we put our hands into his hands and then he leads us because he is the orabasha. He is the God of the universe, the God of the universe. We have our hand in the hand of the God of the universe and the scripture says, he will not you, he will not me, he will direct our path. So so how do we do that? We, My lifestyle has to honor God. So as I follow him, oh Jesus, as I follow him, I'm gaining an edge in the spirit. The second thing we need for a prophetic edge is zeal. Zeal for the Lord. Listen to this, John chapter 2, uh, verse 12. His disciples remembered that it is written in the scriptures, zeal, which means love and concern for your house and its honor will consume me. That's the Amplified Version. Listen to Psalms 69, verse 8. Because zeal for your house has eaten me up. So let's define zeal. Zeal is defined, oh Jesus, as passion. It means embracing. It means pursuing. It means defending everything that has to do with God. So, and so I want the Lord, Rabbi Shaya, to consume me with the zeal for him. I want to be passionate about the things of God. I want to be passionate about prayer. I want to be passionate about uh, embracing the things of God. And, and I was listening to a minister the other day, and he was saying, Oh, Rabbi Shaya, if God, listen to this, if God answered even your thought, would you still serve him? Oh, Jesus. If he just answered your thoughts, would you still serve him? 
I, you know, can you answer that question? If he just, if he answered every thought, because you know we got thoughts uh, are coming through our mind, would you still serve him? Because he's looking for someone that he can bless and, and he can pour out his anointing on and you will still be able to serve him. Hallelujah. So that will give us, oh Jesus, a prophetic edge. Listen, the third thing needed for a prophetic edge is found in Psalms 24 verses 4 through 8. Listen what the word of the Lord says. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord or may stand in his holy place? He who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul to an idol nor sworn deceitfully. Listen, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Verse 6. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, and then it says Salah. So a Selah, meaning just pause and think about that. Scripture says, lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? So listen, the scripture says, he who has a clean hands, O oh Jesus, and a pure heart. So listen, what, what do we have? Oh Jesus, hallelujah. What are we having to do? What are we having to do now? We're having to use sanitizer. That's, a, that's symbolic that God is looking for somebody, oh Jesus, with a clean hand, with clean hands and a pure heart. So when we look at Jacob, listen, so, so the scripture says, the scripture says, who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? What hill? He's talking about Mount Zion. And so when we, whenever we see Jacob in scripture, we have to go back to Jacob and his encounters with the Lord. And Jacob, I know Moshiach, well, Jacob had encounters with the Lord that he was able to see the glory of God. He was able to witness the presence of the Lord. Oh my God. So so this, this, this Jacob, this generation of those who seek him will always have a prophetic edge. Listen. So so listen, this, this is powerful. In Genesis, when it was nearing time for Jacob to leave the house of Laban, you're gonna have to go and read it. Listen, God, God gave Jacob a strategy. And the strategy, because Laban didn't want him to leave, because of Jacob, God, Laban's house was being blessed. So God, so, so Laban didn't want him to leave. But God, oh Rabbi Kashaya, gave him a strategy. And God told, told uh, uh, Jacob what to do to come out with some spotted lambs, oh Jesus, because if they had not been different from Laban's, he would have taken them, oh God. But listen, God gave, oh Rabbi Shaya, God gave him a prophetic edge. And so the, the, the lambs, the, the sheep came out spotted, oh Jesus. So now God will give you that prophetic edge if you lean on him, if you trust him, if your lifestyle honors him, he will give you. Oh God, that prophetic is. Look for, look for it, people of God. Look for it. Ooh. Look for it. It's on the way. The, we need in this day and time, we need, I knew, shake it about that prophetic edge. Hallelujah. So let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, open our eyes in the spirit realm. Open our spirit so we will be able to discern that that is good and that that is evil. Let us see, Father. Let us hear the things of the spirit. Even the whisper, let us hear it. So in the name of Jesus, I seal it now with the blood of Jesus, the anointing of the Holy Ghost, and the glory of God. And I say, so let it be. So let it be. Listen, I bless you. I love you. Subscribe to us. Like us. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.